Hey guys, how are you? It's Pandora. I'm back with another tank review, and this time it's the Japanese Tier 10 Medium, the SDB. Uh, I picked this tank up recently along with the Leo PTA and the Object 140, and I put my hands up. Uh, I did gold the crew skills for this tank and the PTA. Uh, I was just, I gave them a couple of games, and I was struggling a little bit, um, and I couldn't really put up with it. So um, I gold of the crew and um, yeah I've been enjoying both tanks since. This tank right now is one of my main mediums for tier 10. I do have the object 140 but I'm still working on getting the crew skills up for that one. Uh, I have been playing this tank quite a bit and uh, I feel quite solid in it. I really really enjoy it. I picked this tank because I wanted a different tank. Um, the main meta player base tends to go with the Russian meds, the T62 or the object 140. And I wanted something different. I wanted a challenge in something different. Um, a little bit of variety as well. I'm tired of seeing the T62 and the Object 140. Uh, I could have chosen the FE4202, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that tank yet, uh, given the bad turret. So why would you pick this tank? Um, well, the gun is pretty decent. Uh, it's got a decent enough turret. It does catch a little bit of bounces, and this does qualify from the Type 61, where you've got nothing for a turret. Um, it moves pretty well, traverses pretty well. It's got great pen, and I'm slightly biased in the fact that I really, really enjoy the Japanese tanks. And a minor note as well, I have to say that the camos on this tank look absolutely gorgeous. For some reason, the Japanese tanks, the camos, I think, in my opinion, they look a lot better. You can get a special camo for this tank, the Adamant. Uh, I do have to say the skin does look really, really nice when you get this camo. But just personally, I'm not going to splash out on that much gold for a camo. We're going to have a look at the tank in arm inspector as you can see it doesn't have a lot of armor it's got 80 millimeters on the front of the hull there's some parts there the shoulders that has a particular weakness of 35 millimeters of armor as you move up to the turret you've got 132 some parts of the turret on the very edge of 67 and on the top is 100 millimeters and there's the mantlet that's where you'll catch a lot of ricochets 116 millimeters of spaced armor the upper plate is 40 millimeters and as you work your way around the tank, you've got 35 millimeters. Uh, and also at the back, you've got 25 millimeters. So you don't want to be getting hit in the sides or the back of this tank. We're going to have a look at the tank in Tank Compare. Uh, I do compare it against some of the other mediums within its class at Tier 10. You've got the M48 Patton, the Leo, the E50M. FE4202, T62, and the Object 140. And as you can see, it, uh, it hasn't got the most when it comes to DPM. And you have to bear that in mind when you come against T62As and Object 140s. Um, it's decent when it comes to penetration, slightly more than the Russian meds. Not the worst. Alpha, it's you've got 350 alpha. Uh, the rate of fire is 9.2. Obviously, you struggle a little bit when it comes to comparison against the Russian meds. Um, some other stats, some of the aim time 1.9, the dispersion is 0.32, not the best, uh, that can be improved with a V-stab. Uh, gun depression, you've got 10 degrees of gun depression and that's where you're a little bit more superior when it comes to the Russian meds. Um, some of the other stats, the speed, you get up to 53, top speed of 53, which isn't too bad. The terrain resistance on this tank also helps with the movement as well. Other stats like the credit coefficient, 87%, is probably the best within its class. Uh, the view range is also worth a mention. You get 285, uh, and that's one of the highest within its class, along with the M48 pattern. Um, also, some of the stats when it comes to the win rate, um, and I was kind of surprised at this. It's got 54% win rate at the moment. Its average damage is actually the highest within its class as well, and yet... Um, when it comes to the player base, uh, you've got 2,948. And now this is EU, but it was quite surprising to see that not many people are playing this tank, where a lot of people are playing more of the Russian meds. In my usual style, I'm going to go through three games in the tank, uh, take you through some of the decision making, and hopefully give you a better understanding of some of the characteristics of the tank. Before I do, I just want to talk about equipment. While it's got decent pen, I do play with the calibrated shells because you do struggle sometimes with some of the tier 10 heavies. 
I've also got the protective modules and also the optics. I haven't unlocked the GLD yet, but I will be unlocking that fairly soon. I've also got the enhanced armor and the engine accelerator, although I don't think I had that while recording some of these games. Next, I hope to get the V-Stab after that, and the last two, I don't think I will be unlocking those. So the first game, it's a game on mines, it's an encounter battle, and I'm looking at our team here. I can see we've got some mobility. So I assume we're going to challenge for the hill. And this is probably, it's a, it's a tight map, but it's a great map to demonstrate the gun depression and what this tank can do. So we spawn on the southeast and um, I'm just going to push up here uh, and try and support this Leo because I assume he's going to go for the hill. Uh, and as you can see from the speed, I'm able to keep up with him reasonably well, but obviously it's a Leo, so he's going to power up the hill. Uh, he makes it up the hill and we can see that their object has also pushed and he's trying to get up the hill. Put a shot in on the side of the turret, no problem. Uh, taking this nice little spot here on the left where I'm protected by the rocks. Our AMX is trying to push, put a shot in on him. And obviously with AMX I'm getting a higher roll. Try and put another one in, but I can't get any shots there. I attempt a shot there in the 140, which is a bit stupid. I was never probably going to get that. Um, try and put a shot here on the T62. Again, probably a stupid shot for me. I'm never going to get him. And this is when their ISA pushes. Put a shot in on his tracks. And this is something that I do quite a bit with this tank. Uh, hit a lot of track shots. He's still looking at me. And he's still looking at me. He's getting hit by other tanks. He eventually looks away. Put in another shot. Get spotted again. My camo is reset. Pop out again. I'm aiming for that drive wheel. Hit the drive wheel. And this is something that I do quite a bit where you'll notice that when you do hit the drive wheel, you pick up a lot of damage as well, where you get a lot of damage. There are 140 push there, but he backed down again. I'm just keeping an eye on some of the tanks here. Now, I make a bit of a mistake here. I haven't counted all their tanks, and there's a Yag Tiger that's flanked around. Put in another shot on the AMX. There's a bit of lag here. Um, I still haven't realized that the Yag is behind me. I get shot again from the Yag. I try and put a shot in on the AMX there, which was a bit stupid. I don't get him. Repair my tank because my gun got damaged there, and that's when I realized the Yag is shooting at me, but I'm lucky that I've got this rock here. Put in a high roll shot there on the lower place of the Yag, and what I want to do here is just try and reset my camo. The reds haven't pushed, so I'm going to try and make a dash for the hill. So I can't see him anymore. I'm assuming that my camo is reset. So I make a dash for it. Put a shot in. And I'm, I'm lucky there because I actually hit his track. And as I'm making my way up the hill here. The E100. I'm a little bit unfortunate. He backs into me. I don't think he was aware of what I was doing. Uh, but he's done a really, really good job there. He's pushed for that hill. And um, he's probably the reason why we do pretty well in this game. Um, I'm just trying to spot up the Yag, but we do have two tanks in the spawn. The Yag gets spotted, put a shot in on him. I'm hitting Adrenaline because I'm obviously trying to hit him here, and I'm aiming for the track. I do some damage to the track, but I don't manage to track him. So we've got two tanks on him. I assume he's okay, and he's going to be dealt with. Track back to help the E100, who is still alive. You can see that there's uh, Leo, and uh, he's a one-shot, so I take him out. I'm going to drop down here and try and help the E100 deal with the Object 140. Uh, E100's blocking my shot, put a track shot in on the object and the E100 finishes him off and that is the end of the game. So all in all, not too bad, pretty happy there with the way it played and that's the kind of style that you want to be playing this tank. 3.7 of damage, third class and a confederate. Not too bad. Uh, pocket, 4,226 uh, credits, so I made a bit of a profit. So on to the second game. It's a game of supremacy, and it's on Winter Melanovka. And just looking at the makeup of the teams here, we've got quite a bit of mobility. So in my head, uh, I'm going to take this left-hand flank try and take out whatever tanks that might come down there uh, they've also got a few leos and stb on their team so i'm going to try and take them out 
someone calls it, someone says that they're going to go A, and by mistake I hit negative and then hit affirmative. So the fact that the team is calling A is a good sign. I'm going to try and support them. Now, on this map, I, I've got this habit of not taking the A cap. I think it's such a bad cap to try and take. You're wide out in the open. So much space out there. Uh, you've got some hills and burns, but um, I think it's really bad to try and take it. We spot up their PTA and STB, and I don't know what this object is doing. I think he's just assuming that I'm going to pop out there. He runs into me. Uh, I'm not going to pop out there because they've got clear shots on me, so I'm going to try and use this building here. Uh, we've got a potential shot in the PTA. I'm not taking that. There's another PTA on the far side. Put a shot in on him. No problem at all. Uh... I see that one of the reds, the STB, is capturing the A, so I just want to reset that counter, put a shot in on him, no problem. Uh, just keeping an eye on the left hand side here, just to see what emerges. Um, put another shot in on the STB, he gets triple hit, goes on fire. Gonna try and take him out, but somebody takes him out. Uh, notice the Leo's trying to make a getaway, and we finish him off. Now we've only got the PTA on the far side here on the left, he's been dealt with. Um, pushing up here and that's when we notice that the 183 pops and he's spotted now I'm gonna take this a little bit aggressively there's a lot of train between me and him I'm gonna push I'm gonna push I'm gonna push I'm not spotted yet I'm gonna try and make him think that I'm going one way and then go the other so I fake the left hand side he goes left put a shot in there I Aiming for his tracks, I don't get him, and it bounces as well, don't do any damage. He turns around, put a shot in, managed to do some damage there, but he turns around and takes half my life points away. So I'm hitting adrenaline, trying to take care of this guy. The Leo does a really good job here, uh, managed just to push him, push his gun away. There's a shot that goes in, and I finish him off. Uh, put myself behind this rock. Uh, noticed E4 and I don't know how I made that shot but I managed to pen him but he hits me in the side and I'm pretty lucky to be still alive. Uh, making my way up to the E4 here, there's only two two reds left, they have got two caps but we've got the A cap. There's only a TD and a heavy so it's looking good. E100 pops out, I take a shot, I track him. Looks like the majority of our tanks are concentrating on E4, the E4 goes down, and I'm just trying to keep alive at this point, I, I don't want to do anything stupid. Um, but here you can see, putting some shots, I, that's actually a kill shot that I miss, and that's why I've got calibrated shells. <laughs> Mess that up big time. But uh, someone else manages to take him out, and uh, not a bad game, 7-0, I can't complain about that, that's a really good team, efficient. 2.6 of damage, 39,000 credits, but that is with a mission, and we get a third class mastery. Managed to kill two tanks, so I'm happy enough with that. So, on to the third and final game. It's another game on mines, and we spawned again in the southeast side, and uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to try and push up on the left hand side contend for the hill just try and hold it uh, see what shots I can get in using the gun depression and uh, see how many reds I can shoot and try and take out so um, I'm just telling the team what I plan on doing uh, and I push into the left hand side here to it's probably one of my favorite spots on this map um, it's particularly for a medium anyway so push in here, none of the reds have spotted yet but their object pushes up, we've spotted him up, our object, uh, he hasn't pushed the hill but he's he's in a very competitive spot now, I don't know if he's pushed too much there, they've got a 215B who's looking at me, he shoots me, try and put a shot in and it bounced off the Coppola, um, I can see our T30 has pushed up there, Jagdpanzer E100 has also pushed up, so this is quite intense from the start, their 140 pushes again, put a shot in him, and this T30, he's pushing and he's trying to get the shot, so instead I decide to put a shot in the pattern there on the left hand side, um, our T30 is taking quite a few hits, and I'm trying to 
hit the Cupola here on the Jagdpanzer E100. Now I managed to do well there, I actually managed to get a, a pen shot. I tried to do the same again, but he's at an angle now where I can't really see it and I, I shouldn't have really attempted that shot. So managed to bounce that, try and put another shot, I'm switching the heat and that's a bit of a bad shot there for me. And that's when I notice their pattern has gone down into the water and he's uh, he's flanking on the left hand side. So I'm going to try and use the cover here, try and protect myself so I'm not taking shots in the rear and deal with this pattern. Take a really bad shot there, a track shot. He hits me, I hit him, I don't do any damage. Put a shot in on him, I do some damage there. He's got a very soft turret. And this is where you can see I use the most out of the gun depression and he hasn't got the gun elevation and he's trying to shoot put shots in on me trying to put another shot in the cupola You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. and he's down to a one shot at this point i've done some damage to him and he gets taken out so i turn around turn my attention back to the jagdpanzer e100 managed to get a shot in the side I can see we our VK is pushed right up. I'm gonna try and put another shot into this Yag Panther. That's a really bad shot for me. I didn't aim right enough to try and hit the cheeks. Switch to heat again. Another really bad shot for me there. Really bad. And he's looking over, so I'm, I'm getting cover here from these rocks. He can pen my turret if he shoots me with heat, so I want to be very careful here try another shot and I managed to penetrate him there he attempts a shot but he hasn't the gun depression to get me it's a bit of lag there uh, their object 140 is pushed in now he's he hits me there he's got protection here behind the cover of the rock and this is where the game intensifies a little bit attempt a shot on the object I don't get him our T30 is pushing and our, the object 140 pushes up the hill this VK, the carcass of this tank, is in a really bad spot. I managed to sneak a shot in there on the object. Uh, he puts a shot in on me. I'm calling for some help, try and put some attention on this object. Doesn't happen. Put a shot in on him. I'm hitting adrenaline, and he's... I don't know if he hasn't got the gun depression to shoot me there, but he's actually shooting the T-30 behind me. Put another shot, managed to start a fire. He takes out our T-30 who is behind me, and I put in another shot, finish him off. I'm pushing in and around. There's only one red left at this point. I'm going to drop down and try and get him. IS-8, uh, don't do any damage there. It was a bit of a bad shot. Drop down. Um, trying to hit him again, but I'm putting the gun over the back of my tank and I haven't got gun depression to try and hit him. Really bad shot. Somebody else finishes him off, though. And that is the end of the game. So overall, not too bad. A win's a win. Second class mastery, 3.8 of damage, got one kill. Not too bad. I don't make a profit there because I was firing heat. But all in all, not a bad game. So there you are, guys. The STB. I really like it as a tank. Um, it's one of my first medium tier 10s. I've needed a medium for quite some time now. And I'm, I'm actually glad I got this tank. It's an alternative to some of the Russian meds in the game. Plays very, very well. Uh, still yet to unlock some of the equipment. Still yet to get the ace for it. But I'm looking forward to trying to get that. If you're still watching at this point, thank you for watching. And I will hopefully catch you on the next one. Take care. Good luck. Bye-bye.